would ask. <laughs> Super fun. Okay. I'll wait for it to pop up. Okay. There's always like the super awkward part. And then I go back and look at them. I was like, oh, I was live for like 30 seconds before I realized it. So apologies to anyone who hops on. (laughs) I just got a notification that um, Brooke Lawson is live now. So Okay. Yep. There we are. So let me pull it up on here so I can read comments. And I have no way to read comments. Okay. I will read them to you. It's okay. That's really cool. I will read them. Um, so anyone that hops on live, always let us know that you're here and say hi so we can talk to you because it's way more fun that way. So yeah, for sure. Yay. Okay. So we're okay. sorry that I can't read comments. <laughs> first thing is let's introduce you. So let's tell us about just you and your business and how you got started and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So I'm Tana Matthews and um, I have Tana Matthews Photography. It's based out of Owasso. I do... Um, a lot of lifestyle photography, which is a little less um, mainstream, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of more outside the box-ish. Um, yeah. I try to do, like, for instance, Brooks headshots. Like, <laughs> they don't look like your typical headshot. They are, um, it's not like we have a, a black panel behind us. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just... I disagree. Oh, <laughs> <They're> right. <ugly. laughs> right. So... And, you know, in talking with Brooke and talking about um, what she wanted to do with her pictures, and I'll share more about that later. Um, sorry, I have kids in the backyard. <laughs> so I'm like multitasking. I'm multitasking. Here. <laughs> yeah. So if you see me like look off in the distance, I'm actually looking at something. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I've been a photographer. This has been my actual full-time job for four years. And um I love it. Like it's provided Mm -hmm. a way for me to, you know, be able to stay home with my kids and watch them play in the backyard. So it's Mm -hmm. fun. Um, I do lifestyle um, Mm -hmm. newborns. I do family. I do um, headshots, that sort of stuff. Um, Kind of a business building type headshots. Like when we say headshots, it's not necessarily, you know, like your black Mm -hmm. backdrop and everybody's (laughs) there. Yeah. Not so much like that. Right. (laughs) Um, but I also try to make it fun. So yeah, yeah. yeah I think the fun. first, the first time I ever heard about you was, um, for those of you who don't know, um, I saw a couple people hopped on already. So say hi. So we know who you are, but Tanner and I live in the same town. So we're like real life friends. Yeah. <laughs> so we have this local like boss, what's it called? Girl boss group or yeah. something. something like that, so, yeah. Tana did um pictures in there I think you call them like boss babe sessions yeah like, that's what I need yes <laughs> so that's super fun yeah. so how did you like have you always wanted to be a photographer or how did you kind of get into it well I feel like photography is sort of just fell in my lap um mm-hmm. my mom and dad both had a knack for it and mm-hmm. my dad like has always had you know like a great camera I mean now he mm-hmm. really doesn't but anyway <laughs> growing up he always had like a great camera we went on ski trips and he always had it like attached to him you know and like <laughs> we have all these great pictures growing up because I read <laughs> he's at the window sorry so you gotta go play go play <laughs> you guys I'm so sorry um real anyway life. so my dad real was always <laughs> this is real life for sure um Okay, so you've got to go back outside. No, I don't. You've got to go back outside. <laughs> what did I tell you if you play outside? This cannot go around your neck. You guys, I'm sorry. And You're I totally go fine. Back. Go play. <laughs> go play. Go play. I'm just going to ignore her. Maybe she'll go away. I'm just ignore her. <laughs> um, anyway, so my dad has always had a camera. And then when I was in um, mom, high mom. school, I guess it was. My mom, like, did my senior pictures mom, for me. She I took these different water, classes. Yes, yes, go, go, go. <laughs> um, so she took these different classes. And you remember the pictures that, like, people would go around and look for random, like, objects. Like, yeah. um, chair railing that was shaped like an M. And then they put, like, M-A-T-H-E-W-S. You know, they yeah. Frame. Oh, yeah, anyway, yeah. She took a class. You can say hi, and then you have to go. Okay. This is Reed. <laughs> he is well trained. When you, um, what do you do with your hands when you take pictures? When I take your picture, where do you put your hand? My pockets and pull my phone out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. Perfect. Like, <laughs> so my other kid, <laughs> kid won't look at the camera when I when I put a even my in front of her. even my dad won't. Even his grandpa, yes. Okay, <laughs> you gotta go. Now. 
Okay. It's not grandpa. Right. He is your grandpa, though. He's Babel. Okay. Go, go. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you good. Um, no. Go. Hi, Liz. I saw Liz hopped on. <laughs> Hi, Liz. <laughs> Sorry. Can't see comments for those of you. You're good. I'm jumping on. Anyway. I'll bring them to you. Um, so... So yeah, um, mom did that, and then she ended up doing my friends. Um, what were they like bridal portraits? Oh yeah. Anyway, it just kind of evolved and fell in my lap, and I worked um, for an airline oh, here I'm in Tulsa. Ask you a question. One question. Can I have those cookie? Yes. Go. Those cookie M M. Yes. Go. All the cookies. All the snacks, whatever. <laughs> Give them all the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway. Um, so anyway, I was working for this airline and a friend of mine like knew that I had, you know, taken pictures in the past and, um, you know, it was just very much hobby at that point. Mm -hmm. And he was like, would you do my maternity pictures? And I was like, well, I mean, I don't know how comfortable I feel doing that. And then I took them and you guys, they were like, amazing. Like, I was <laughs> kind of, like surprised myself. And from there, um, it just kind of evolved. And mm -hmm. then not long later, I found out I was pregnant and it just kind of the whole business just kind of snowballed to the point that we were like I could stay home and do photography yeah. if this was you know sustainable and you know we put it on paper and it just worked out so I love okay. it that's kind of that's how so I cool. <laughs> got here yeah so that's so cool yeah. okay cool so the next question then I like to ask everybody is kind of what's your definition of branding and how does that how does it affect your business um branding for me is what I feel is like a feeling, the feeling mm -hmm. that you give people that you, um, they see something that you post your words, whether it's, um, like a picture, um, things like that, that it just makes them relate to you and think mm -hmm. of you when they see something similar. Love it. I love it. it. And that's kind of what I get a lot too, is I just want it to feel like me. Like, okay, right. <laughs> I know exactly what that means. <laughs> right. For sure. Perfect. Cool. So do you, can you tell a difference like from when you first started before you did any of like the business development work and, and branding stuff? Is um, it, was there a difference in your business? Yeah, I would say so. There's more consistency in mm -hmm. um, my posts, my editing style, things that I do post, you know, mm -hmm. things like that. So, I mean, it's, I feel like it's always a work, you know, in mm -hmm. progress and just sure. building on top of that. So, yeah. For sure, for sure. So you guys, I don't know what's going on, but I see that there are like seven people watching and only one person has said hi. One person and my mom. So hi, mom. <laughs> my mom's here too. Tana knows my mom. <laughs> so let us know that you're here and Tana's about to dive into all of her awesome tips. So ask questions as we go. Even if I don't answer it right away, we'll come back and answer them at the end. So let us know if you have questions and let's do it. I'm excited to hear what they are. <laughs> um, okay, so... I'm going to go over things to do, um, like week before days before day of that sort of stuff, just mm -hmm. to kind of give you a timeline of how to prepare for a session. Um, and then if you're not like local to us, or if you have a photographer that you normally use or something like that, I'll kind of give you an idea of what to look for in a photographer, mm -hmm. things to ask that sort of thing. Um, and that's also going to show you a few like what to wear, what not to wear, some fun stuff. Yay, yeah, like a style session too. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so you have your session booked and mm -hmm. so you're like two weeks out. So this is not like stuff that you have to do, but if it's stuff that fits into your lifestyle, into your budget, that sort of thing, um, helpful. So, mm -hmm. um, the first, if you get your eyebrows done, get your eyebrows done, like two day, maybe even a week before, because you don't want to have like laser beams across your face right right um and, I would have and never it, thought of that two weeks before right I mean well like maybe a week before even yeah. because I mean, like you, depending yeah. on how back they grow or how fast they grow back I guess true, true. you just don't want to do it like you know the day of especially yeah. the day of or you know like a day or two before just to give it a little right. bit of time to like heal basically right um so a week or two before you want to get your hair done, your hair cut or your hair colored, mm -hmm. you don't want to get your hair cut um, like immediately before, because a lot of times right after you get your hair cut, your hair does not want to cooperate. And sometimes <laughs> there's a learning curve between like when you get yeah. your hair cut and like how, like to style it, you yeah. know, like get it cut. So, um, and then don't make a drastic change before you have your pictures done. Mm -hmm. Like 
if you have, you know, blonde hair, don't dye it black. For one, <laughs> people aren't going to recognize you in your picture. Yeah. And for two, it's going to be such a drastic change for you that you're probably going to like confidence shows in pictures. Yeah. So if you're like self-conscious about how your hair is done, like this change that you've made, what people are going to think of it, like it's going to show in your pictures. Yeah. Um, so then figure out your wardrobe, which we'll talk about in a little bit, a little bit more, but um, neutrals, subtle prints, avoid any tiny print because tiny print like looks like 3D and like psychedelic. <laughs> it's, it's a crazy thing. Um, okay, good to know. <laughs> yeah. And then you want to wear like things that are kind of up to date, not necessarily trendy, but up to date. And then texture layers, those sorts of things are really great too. And we'll talk about some of that in a minute. Okay. Um, so then like a couple of days before, get your nails done, at least make sure they're clean. Like yeah. I did pictures once and um, like my own pictures, I had to take a picture, just a quick headshot for um, the newspaper. Mm -hmm. I had got pedicure done, not my nails, because I usually don't have anything on my nails, but I had got my toes done and I like, you know, sampled the colors on my fingers. <laughs> Forgot. So in the pictures, yes, yeah, so that's on there. So even if you don't get your nails done, at least make sure they are clean and, and yeah. colored. Not so like um, otherwise, you know, right now I got my hair, I put purple in my hair again and like my fingers are purple from curling it. So I'm like, yeah, see, ah. but if you did that like a week before, you wouldn't yeah. have that. If you were like two yeah. days before, that could be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, also whiten your teeth and then shave. Mm -hmm. You want to shave the day before, not the day of, because you run the risk of razor burn. Good but, to know. Yeah. Yeah. I would have seriously never thought of any of this stuff until like the morning of and be like, oh crap. <laughs> right. So helpful. Um, and then, so the day of, like, if you have a side that you love or you don't love, make sure you tell that to your photographer. Like, they want to take pictures of you on the side that you actually like. So make sure you <laughs> convey that. Yeah. Um, if you're self-conscious about something, like, I had somebody once who was like, please don't get pictures of my knees. I'm like, I've heard, I've heard well, you're wearing a short dress, so I don't know. <laughs> So be aware of what you're okay. wearing, the things that you want to cover up. So, you know, if you don't want your knees in pictures, um, you know, maybe don't take pictures like below the waist or make sure they know that you don't want anything below the waist or wear something that covers your knees. I feel like that's just like a huge part of it too. Just that open communication, you know, like <laughs> you can't be scared to like tell the photographer what you want and what you're looking for. Okay. I think like at least the first couple of times I ever did pictures, which you're the first one who's done pictures for my business, but just in general pictures, I was like scared to talk to them. Like, oh, they're the expert. They're, they know what they're doing, but really you have to like say what you want. <laughs> right? right. It's important. I mean, because we want to do what you want, you know what I mean? Right. Like it helps me like, especially with, um, you know, like my family sessions. Mm -hmm. So if I'm taking pictures, like I'll ask you, um, what pictures are most important to you? Sorry. I was like, I lost you. There we go. Sorry. Okay, no. You're back. <laughs> um, so I'll ask, you know, what pictures are most important to you? Like, is it most important for you to have pictures of your kids? Is it most important for you to have pictures of your whole family? You know, they, those sorts yeah. of things help me tailor the session, you know, to you and what you want. So, um, so anyway, back to the day of, um, mm -hmm. so your makeup, bring, bring your makeup with you. Like if for some reason you step underneath, like, I don't know like a leaking, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, water like splashes you in the yeah. face. I don't know what happens. Anyway, you want to be <laughs> able to have something. To fix. Yes. Yeah. And then whatever you put on your lips, always bring that. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you get adequate rest the night before, mm -hmm. just so you don't have, you know, the puffy eyes. That's yeah. thing. So I love it. <laughs> how to take a drink. Um, so talking about, um, communicating with your photographer like back when Brooke and I like talked about her session um what do you mean I don't want to see it <laughs> hi. hi she has your eyeballs <laughs> no I have my own eyeballs you have your own eyeballs yeah, yeah. you're right <laughs> okay you have to go okay um, so anyway, we talked about her style and the different things. And one of the things that she talked about was like the Edison lights yeah. and she has this brick wall behind her and just a lot of different elements about her business, you know, that were 
you know, kind of special to her, part of her branding, right? And just mm-hmm. kind of the feel, the vibe that she gives off. So we talked about um, different places or whatever. And there's this coffee shop that like I thought of immediately, like downtown Tulsa. And mm-hmm. it like, I feel like it really hit the nail on the head, mm-hmm. nail on the head, if I can mm-hmm. talk. Um, and it's kind of like an industrial look and feel and which is just kind of where her branding sort of is, yeah. you know, like the, the bricks, the metal, the wood, like all that sort of stuff just kind of had the same elements that um, yeah. were incorporated in that. So that's why we chose to go there. Um, yeah. No, baby, you need to go back outside. Go back outside. We'll have popsicles when we're done. Oh, Ellie. <laughs> go. Hey, listen. Go back outside and then we'll go play, please. Here, take your water. Go. No. Go play. That's how I take you. Okay, go take your pink. Yes. <laughs> okay, Jess. Okay. okay, go back outside. <laughs> go back outside. Go, go, go. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we talked about where um, mm-hmm. to do the session, things that would like bring out her brand, I guess, basically mm-hmm. is kind of what we did. So um, that's how we chose that place. And then we went to a second spot and um, used kind of a white wall so that she could put some text on the picture with her. <laughs> or the- hey, I was actually looking right. at your, um, <laughs> your, some of your Facebook pictures yesterday and it was you and Justin. And I was like, hey, that's the same wall. <laughs> that's awesome. That's funny. Yeah. 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 So those are, I felt like those are really important, especially for like the online businesses, you know, like just right. do some of just you being you that you can put text on. <laughs> right. For sure. And then, um, um, I had a great thought and then I lost it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I hate when that happens. Oh yeah. So the style of the pictures, um, and like your pictures, for instance, like you use those same pictures throughout. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's really important because somebody sees those pictures and it's like, Oh, look, that's a picture of Brooke. Mm-hmm. Like they don't even have to necessarily see your face. To mm-hmm. know, like, it's a view just because the feel, and same way, like, with your um, like the text and the colors and like mm-hmm. all that sort of stuff, just your pictures to carry out that. I feel yeah. like it's important too. So, it is, it's super important, just that consistency. So, even if it's on my website or Instagram or Facebook or wherever, yeah, it's just that same feel. Yeah. So, I think that, like, having, like you said, having that conversation before. So, Tana and I went and <laughs> we went and drank beer. <laughs> before we ever did my, um, my photo shoot. So we kind of went through all of that stuff, you know, so you could get a feel for that style. I think that that part of the process was like what made the pictures come out so, so well, because you kind of got to know me and my business and building that relationship is super important. If you don't already know the person. <laughs> right. That's true. It's very true. Um, and I feel like it also alleviates a little bit of like the awkwardness on the first mm-hmm. day, you know, like you're just meeting this person and then they're going to take pictures of you and you're like, yeah. I don't know how to smile. I don't know. <laughs> I forgot how to do things, (laughs) but I mean, I get it. Like I've been in front of the camera Mm -hmm. too, so I completely understand. Yeah. Um, Okay. So from here, I'm going to move into like the what to wear stuff, kind of the color styles, um, that sort of thing. So, um, and I'll also give this to you guys. So you guys don't have to like take a whole bunch of notes if Mm -hmm. you want. Um, okay. So I'm going to skip back a little bit so I can show you some things. Okay. So the first thing is to steer clear of fluorescence. Um, okay. I mean, it feels obvious, but you never know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so primary colors are also a little harsh. Black is probably my least favorite thing to take pictures of, like solid black, if there's no texture, okay. just because you lose all the dimension in the fabric. Okay. It just turns into like one flat, like think of like paint on your wall, right? Mm-hmm. It's flat paint as opposed to like eggshell and you like see like, you know, okay, that favorite. makes sense. Cause black, I feel like black is like my go-to color. So that's good to know. <laughs> right. I mean, I wear it a lot too. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but <laughs> no, that's good to know. Okay. Oh, yeah. So like a, maybe like a dark gray or something instead. Yeah. Like grays and navies are great alternatives to okay. black, um, especially navy. And I'll just show you this. Okay. So this navy top. I like it. That's cute. It is. Um, okay. So you have some texture in it and then like, mm-hmm. as it hangs, like you still have like the definition in it or mm-hmm. so what fabric it is, but let me just tell you, because it is probably like, what is it? Polyester. <laughs> um, so anyway, it has texture. It has mm-hmm. like some interest in it. It has like the lace and that sort of thing. So I feel like it makes it 
like in a picture, even though you're wearing like a solid, I mean, it's a professional looking yeah. piece, but it's not just completely flat. You know it's not I mean? like boring. <laughs> right. right. So like, yeah. Um, okay. So be aware of the background. Like if you are going to take pictures um, up against a white wall, mm -hmm. like back with your photographer, you know, you're going to take pictures against a white wall, a white shirt is probably not going to look good against your white wall. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, being aware of the background and like where you're going to take your pictures um, is important too. So, again, that's just part of the communication with the photographer yeah. and, you know, talking about the wardrobe and that sort of thing. Um, another really important thing is to wear what you feel good in. Because yeah. confidence is a huge thing in pictures. So, if yeah. you're wearing something that you just feel awkward or uncomfortable in, it will show in your picture. So, it's super <laughs> important to wear something that you feel confident in. Yes. Um, Layers are also great. They add dimension and depth to your pictures. So like whether it's even just a long necklace, like something simple, mm -hmm. if it's a jean jacket or a blazer, um, that sort of thing. Um, vests, cardigans, belts, statement necklaces, scarves, blazers, leggings, all that sort of stuff. Um, and okay. then you want to purchase clothes that fit. <laughs> um, I mean, Truly, like not stuff yeah. that is like baggy and hanging off your shoulders, but you don't want it to look too small either. So it's kind of yeah. like that right in between like the tailored fit mm -hmm. so that it is complementary of your body shape. Because if you, if you wear stuff that's too big, you're going to look bigger. If you wear stuff that's too small, it's still going to make you look You're bigger. still going to look bigger. <laughs> right. So yeah. if you wear stuff that's tailored and tailored to your body shape, mm -hmm. then it helps. It's more flattering that way. Yeah um okay um okay so dress for the weather and be flexible we all know how Oklahoma is yes you plan for you know a 75 degree day and all of a sudden it turns into a 40 degree day yeah. and so be a little bit flexible with your wardrobe like for instance um I wore this dress for our pictures and it is sleeveless but I easily mm -hmm. could have thrown like a jean jacket yeah. over it would have been fun so yeah. I had a backup plan you know, for the outfit, I didn't need it because it was definitely 90 degrees, <laughs> but, but you never know, especially in Oklahoma. <laughs> um, and then also dress for the situation. So like if you, um, are taking your pictures in a field, you probably don't want to wear like a suit and tie, <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Like you want to yeah. kind of fit where you're going for your pictures. So again, mm -hmm. that just goes back to the communication thing and yeah. knowing where you're going to take your pictures and, mm -hmm. um, that sort of stuff, which I mean, communication, I feel like is a huge thing with your photography. It really is. I mean, especially with a session like this, yeah. because you really want to have pictures that carry out your brand. So mm -hmm. um, I'll just show y'all a couple of things real quick. Are there any questions? Let me scroll through. So Tammy, my mom says she's excited to hear this. Liz says okay. hi. Um, I'm having pictures on the 15th. So this is so valuable. Thank you. Oh, good. Tina says, ah, oh, yes, the challenges of being an entrepreneur while your kids are home. We've all been there. <laughs> um, right. Kelly says she's loving this and then your Navy top is so cute. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of things of, um, what not to wear. And then we'll okay. talk about what to wear. Okay. That's always okay. more fun, right? <laughs> what not to wear. Yeah. I just got this super cute, um, black top, mm -hmm. oh, which cool. Right, it has a knot on the bottom. bottom. You see, like how hard it is to see, like the definition of them. Yeah, like right there, it just looks right. black. <laughs> opposed to, I took this one off the hanger, so it's harder. But opposed to how that one was. Yeah, like it yeah. has a little bit more, you know, shape and definition. And that polyester, like I feel like it just hangs. It's very forgiving, yeah. as opposed to like cotton is really just. It not sticks it. to your belly fat like yeah. mine did. <laughs> um, okay, so I didn't say this, but, and not that you would do this, but <laughs> we're going to cover it just in case. Word. <laughs> no words. No words. No word. unless, well, uh, I will say unless it's like on brand words, like you're going to do something very specific with it, right. but, but just like regular words. Yeah. Right. Like you wouldn't wear like your shirt that says Under Armour across it. Right. And then like, you work for Under Armour and then maybe that would be appropriate, but, um, you know, or not a Shane Smith and the Saints. Yes. Um, okay. So the, um, I was talking about the print and how it can look psychedelic. 
So yeah, like yeah. vibrates the screen. <laughs> yes, doesn't that like yeah. isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, it just it's a nice shirt. It's a fine shirt. Like even like down there, like it's mm-hmm. <laughs> ways. It's crazy. And it notice crazy. like if you watch like people on TV, they never wear prints like this. Yeah, that's true. Because it it does crazy things to a computer mm-hmm. screen. Like if you want to post it on your website, like you're, it's going to be like vibrating. It's so crazy. So, <laughs> yeah, so, um, just a couple of things there to um, avoid. Here was another example of um, mm-hmm. like the logos and things just mm-hmm. to, which probably with this type of session goes unsaid, but you know. <laughs> You never know if it's, if it's your first time, you never know. So these are all like super helpful. Oh, thanks. Um, okay. So a black jacket, jacket. you are a black jacket. Mm -hmm. Well, I saw when we met for our beer, the first time we met, I was like, Oh, I love your jacket. I have to find one like it. So mine looks like out of line and get it. (laughs) I didn't get the exact same one, but it it looks very similar. (laughs) Well, and two, like, Oh no, sorry. That's me. (laughs) I'm down to 10%. Okay. Um, so anyway, it adds, it is black, but it still has a lot of like different textures and kind of like layers and that sort of thing. So, you know, it just kind of depends on your brand, whether or not you can pull in a leather jacket. I feel like too, you know what I mean? Like that's true too. (laughs) So anyway, um, okay. So we talked about texture and I was going to show you this. This is a sweater. Can you see the texture on it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so in well, picture, it has, like, texture gold sparkles or something in it too. Not sparkles, um, but like I don't I know. I can see it. it. You can see the light through it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Anyway, it's not sparkles because trust me, I would not own it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong. That was the wrong word. <laughs> Elamite. I would not. <laughs> um. But texture, like, like as a whole, other element in your picture even though it's like simple and Mm -hmm. still you know a solid and it's not distracting it still you know creates interest and gets some you know definition to it something else cool in there yeah and then um I just knocked literally all of it in the floor but that's okay (laughs) so dress the same way it's still um I think it's also polyester I'm telling you polyester is like a beautiful fabric to photograph because it's just forgiving it's flowy it just looks really pretty good to know it always when I talk about polyester it makes me think of like a polyester suit you know <laughs> yeah like the 70s like yes <laughs> totally not the vibe we're going for I mean, <laughs> no I <don't> not. <laughs> anyway well so, I love I love all of your clothes too that you showed I feel like your style is like very much me too <laughs> so I love it well I and I was pulling all these out and like I mean these are obviously just my clothes but I mean I like put them all together and I was like, man, that has a really pretty like color palette. Like somebody mm-hmm. needs to like wear this in some fall pictures. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, you need to do some maybe. <laughs> do some yeah. more. Um, Tina says, or Tina asks, is there a recommended number of clothing changes to bring for a photo shoot? Like, um, I would say, I mean, you can wear one like the whole time and be totally fine. So, and then you could even like, grab a jacket and put it on top of whatever you're wearing for another like mm-hmm. outfit if you will. yeah um so I would say maybe two to three different options and then you know you can take your jacket and take it off and now like you know a lot of people are wearing like shirts tied around their waist so if you had mm-hmm. like a chambray shirt which is also like great for pictures mm-hmm. um you can tie it around your waist or like put it on or you know I would put it on and then tie it around your waist so you don't yeah <laughs> so it's not wrinkly <laughs> yeah but anyway, um, I would say, yeah. So try to like maximize your outfit potential that way. <laughs> maybe. Right. And then it kind of gives like, you know, it makes you feel like you have more pictures and more options, just having different outfits in the pictures. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think I had three maybe. Yeah. I had the one I wore in the coffee shop and then the other one. And then I just put the jacket on and took it back mm-hmm. off. I think maybe. I don't yeah. Know. But yeah, like, I feel like I have a ton of different pictures I can use from that one. Now I want to, I like, I want to have you, I want to finish my office. I want to get a couch back here and I want to have you come do some more in here where I'm just like oh. hanging out in here. That was yeah. Cool. Like your computer <laughs> sitting on the floor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super but fun. I got to finish my office first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
yeah. eventually. eventually yeah. yeah so um, if anyone else has any questions put them in now and then go ahead um, one other thing that I wanted to mention is a lot of times like you need to talk, talk to your photographer about what you're using these pictures for, because you want to make yeah. sure that you, a lot of times, um, Mommy, I, nice okay, well, go tell them that I said to be nice. Okay. Um, so a lot of times photographers give you the print rights, which gives you the right to print the pictures for personal mm -hmm. use. Um, Mama, but it does not. So it gives you the right to use the pictures for personal use, but it doesn't give you the copyright and the copyright release is what you need to be able to use them for business. So always make sure that um, you get the copyright release with your pictures. It's very important because that can come back to. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Like yeah. putting them on Instagram and stuff like that. Like you, you just, right. Have to if you're using them for advertisement purposes, you always want to have the copyright to them so that you own the rights to those photos to be able to share them like, um like your print release doesn't give you the right to put on the billboard gotcha okay a copyright gives you the right to do whatever you want with the pictures okay okay so. cool I don't think I even asked you that like I've been well, putting them on everything but <laughs> hopefully I'm okay <laughs> you did <laughs> what do we see? Liz says do I need a specialist business slash web photographer or not um, I think it, like Tana doesn't only do this stuff, but I think right. it depends on the person and the photographer, right? Like yeah. just make sure that they understand, like Tana said a second ago, like what you're using them for and right. if they can, I mean, you go, you're the photographer here. <laughs> I would say yeah. no, as long as you, as long as you've seen that they can do what you're looking for. But um, so that's actually the part that I forgot. Okay. You can draw on this, but you have to sit in the floor. Okay. Okay, there you go. All right, so um, what to look for, I have a hair, super sorry. <laughs> um, what to look for in a photographer. Uh, so that is the proof. So you can ask to see examples. Like if you don't already know what their style is or you don't know um, like how they do like their, you know, branding type sessions, um, just ask them like if they do this sort of thing or if you can see some examples um, or if they, like, for me, like I could say, oh, go check out Brooke's website. Yeah. Like, she uses a, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, and that would give them like a full, like in action, they can see the pictures in action. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. So I I mean, it is beautiful. So the style, you want to make sure their style matches your brand and who you want to attract yeah. your um, target market, that sort of thing too. Or if they can at least create your vision for you. Yeah. Um, and then I already talked about copyrights, but the quality, um, a lot of times like branding photography, this sort of thing is not cheap and, um, not that, um, not that price necessarily matters, but I will say a lot of times you pay for what you get. So yeah. not that cheap is a bad thing, but you just want to make sure that you know what you're getting into whenever you can. Yeah who's your photographer. It can um, be a bad thing. <laughs> I always tell people if they're, if they're looking for, for cheap, then they should like try to find a student or something in photography school. Yeah. True. yeah. Um, I photographer. I could right, you get what you pay for. Stop. You, have to go. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you have to go. Nope. Done. You're done. Go, go, go. Um, so, um, so yeah. I wrote this down. Okay. Typically high quality professional images don't come cheap. Yeah. So if it is cheap, I would just make sure the quality's there. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's the, that's the nice way to say it. I wouldn't have said it so nicely. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me see what this one says. If we are staging scenes or I haven't seen that word since like the first week of graphic design school vignettes, <laughs> what is the appropriate amount what is the appropriate amount during one setting is it the same as the number of changes I have no idea what that means do you know what I that means mm -mm. that's my mom too so I mom I don't know what that means if you're still watching what is the appropriate amount during one setting is it the same as the number of changes maybe I think maybe she's asking like changing clothes like in the same setting like if you're in the same spot oh 
maybe. So like <laughs> clarify the outfits. Like I would change outfits like with like different locations. Okay. Unless you are staying in one spot, then you can like change whatever. Like yeah. with Brooke and I, like Brooke had one outfit for our first stop, another mm-hmm. outfit for our second, and a third outfit for our third. Yeah. So we kind of makes it look like you just have a ton more pictures. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you could literally have like the exact same picture in three different outfits and then still be able to post it and use it three different yeah. spots because it looks completely different. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, th- I think that's what that means. If not, <laughs> let's know, but yeah. I think that's what that's asking. Okay, cool. So if anyone else has any questions, I think I answered them all. If I like missed your question or if you have anything else, now's the time to put it in, but yeah. This has been so cool. I love your your do's and don'ts of what to wear too. I, I love that part. I wasn't expecting that part. So that was super fun. <laughs> that was super Sometimes fun. Sometimes it's easier to have a visual. You know, people are like, oh, wear this, don't wear this, wear this, don't wear this. And you're like, well, what does that actually mean? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it helps. I love it. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Tana. And um, since no one else is typing in any questions, we'll just wait. If you're watching the replay though, you can always put questions in on the replays too. So we'll answer them. Yeah, cool. Well, well, thank you so much. And we got to see your adorable little kiddos and it's good. Crazy. (laughs) My husband's schedule um, flips from like days to evening. So Mm -hmm. yeah, you just roll with the punches, you know, so it is what it is. (laughs) They're cute. So it's okay. (laughs) Yeah. They're lucky some days that they're cute. (laughs) All right. Well, everyone have a great Sunday evening and I will see you soon and let us know if you have any questions. All right. Thanks. Bye.